Uh, just one degree short of tying that record set back in 2018. I know you guys were really hoping for it. Maybe tomorrow we'll see maybe the same thing because we're going to continue to see warmer temperatures throughout the rest of this week, even as we watch a cold front that's going to be slowly, very slowly moving into our area. Only one or two degrees starting to cool us off already. 92 here in San Angelo. Quite a bit of strong winds for us today, all coming in from the south, keeping it in that pattern because of a high pressure that's sitting over Mexico and we'll continue with that. Starting to see 95 out towards the Zono and Big Lake. Some of the warmest spots we saw today. Even low 90s out towards Junction and Mason. So those areas saw a little bit cooler temperatures. But everyone tomorrow definitely going to be seeing even warmer air coming in and warmer temperatures. 60s to start us out. Not too bad out there for the start of your day. And then we're going to hit about 93 for a lot of us, but we're going to see a few degrees warmer because we're going to have plenty of sunshine coming into the start of our day. We will start to see some clouds rolling in, though, for the afternoon and evening. That is because of a combination of that high pressure that is sitting over Mexico, bringing in all that warm air for the entire state of Texas. I don't even want to point out 97 down towards the south. No, it's going to keep getting warmer as we go into. They could potentially see maybe triple digits down there, but for us in the Contra Valley going to be staying in those 90s which is going to be nice after we saw some warm air and continue on Thursday already starting to see high pressure that's the big thing that's going to be affecting us as it moves into the coast late in the evening and early on our Friday the combination of moisture coming off of that that low pressure and cold front that's sitting there that's going to be giving us some clouds for us for the end of Thursday and into Friday morning so this cold front and low pressure it's very slow moving even by the evening on your Friday still barely into the state we'll see it not affecting our highs for Friday so we're still gonna see 90s again on that day but as we go into evening and late overnight, we're going to see some showers and storms moving through on your Friday night, one or two maybe lingering on your Saturday morning. But really, we're watching all of this cool air getting back into the Concho Valley. We'll be getting 70s back. That's more normal for March this time of year. And that high pressure is the big thing that's going to keep us on the cool side because it pretty much just sits over utah and arizona and moves a little bit into new mexico as we go into sunday seeing mid 70s coming back but as that kind of moves off we are going to be seeing it setting up back into the coast of us and in the gulf of mexico for next week but until that happens we're going to see very warm temperatures 90s 93 that we got to today we're going to be seeing that again for tomorrow then friday slow moving cold front going to give us those overnight light showers and some storms potentially for that as well but then saturday and sunday definitely feeling more spring like as we go into that weekend 73 saturday 75 sunday now since that high pressure is going to be sitting over the gulf on monday we will see some moisture coming in, giving us a little bit more clouds and some light rain chances, but it is going to keep us in the upper 70s as well. So summer-like conditions for the next couple of days. Then we get back to spring for this weekend with 70s. So either way, a good mix for anybody. If you like the warm weather, there you go. Thursday, Friday. Like the cooler weather, there you go. Sunday, Monday. Got all the bases covered.